you'd like to, to bring to it. Thank you, Jason. And uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. Um, you know, I, I start with, an, uh, I grew up in India. And um, I think the role models that I had around me, uh, just like with Chris, were very strong women. Um, and I grew up with this notion of man is incomplete without woman. And that women are worthy of the highest respect because they are the creators uh, of life. Um, and so I grew up with that deep innate respect. Uh, and I didn't know how it could be otherwise, you know, and that's how I grew up. And then I think I, f I fell in love with my wife when she was, I saw her when she was 14, I was 16. Um, and it was love at first sight for me, not for her. Uh, and then I had to work very hard uh, to win her over. And she has been a really uh, defining force uh, of how I view the importance of women um, in a man's life. And she has always told me innumerable times that I can deal with not being loved, but I can't deal with not being respected and respected as an equal partner. And I think that has defined our relationship, which is one of mutual respect, equality, um, to sacrifice for each other and be there for each other. It's not just a one-way uh, relationship. And that's been the foundation built on my childhood, as I was describing, of just some inherent respect. And then having a life partner who is worthy of all my respect and even more uh, for who she is. And then I had uh, two life experiences that have really deepened my compassion and empathy uh, for women as I lost two children, two girls. I lost my first child when she was eight months old. Her name was Tanya, and she died of an immune deficiency uh, that she was born with. And she uh, died, I was just 24 years old. And it was heartbreaking because she was my child and she was a girl, you know. Um, I think finally both of those reasons, some, of course, if she had been a boy, it would be similarly traumatic, but somehow for a father, it really uh, wounded me deeply. And then I have a, I have a son, fortunately, who's uh, uh, doing extremely well. He's a full-time musician right now. And then I went on to have another daughter. Her name was Aisha. And she died recently of a fibrotic lung, which is like a hardening of the lung, uh, when she was 18 years old, you know, a few years ago. And again, I felt once again, the desperation of losing another child who happened to be a girl. Um, and I think through that sense of respect that I was, that I grew up with, respect that I learned in my relationship with my wife, and the deep sense of empathy and compassion for having lost my two girls has kind of, you know, created a resolve in me to serve uh, in that direction and to make a difference in particular and show up as a real supporting voice for the importance uh, of women as equal partners uh, for a better world. Um, and as you mentioned, there are two movies on our lives, primarily around my daughters, The Sky is Pink on Netflix and the documentary Black Sunshine Baby, which talks about how incredible Aisha was as a young woman leader who achieved incredible things despite how little she had. And I think I'm inspired by those collective experiences to really show up in the best way I can uh, to create representation opportunities uh, for women to also thrive as equal partners in this world. Thank you, Naren.